Hey man, so check this out, man. We got Keith Thurman that is talking about Crawford is an option for one time. Big rumors about him. This is an article, man. The big rumors about him, Crawford, and Spencer. Big Twitter beef said Thurman, so we'll see. I like to fight the champion. Spencer's coming off his injuries from car crash. We don't know how he's going to perform. The fans are interested. We want to see how his body is doing, how he's feeling, how he's moving about. I really like to make some of the most exciting fights in the welterweight division. And I think me and me and I think me and Crawford would be one of those matchups. So I definitely wouldn't turn it down if it was a decent offer. So look, man. Fuck all the rest of the shit. You know what I'm saying? I I read it though. I don't think there's much for him to do besides take care of himself and prepare to get back in the ring in the best physical shape possible, said Thurman about Spence. Work with his team and his coaches and whatever he has to do for his ther therapy or whatever, man, whatever. But anyways, man, this is what I want to talk about. This is all I give a fuck about right here, right here. Crawford is an option for one time. So my thing is, man, why don't you just get the fuck in the ring with Crawford then and, and saying if it's a decent one, man, come on, man. <laughs> Come on with this ring around Rosie shit, man. Hey, I think Bob Ram and Crawford just need to send fucking contracts everywhere. We'll take the shit first, man. That's who the fuck we need to fight. But Thurman versus Crawford is a good ass fight, man. I love to see that, man. And, and um, Crawford ain't running through no Thurman. I'll tell you that right now. But that's a good ass fight, though. I love to see that, man. They should make that happen. Um, let me know what y'all think about this fight, man. Um, Keith Thurman, man, he talked more about, in this article, he talked more about Danny Garcia. He said he'll love to fight Danny Garcia, too, or Manny Pacquiao again. But what I'm mostly interested in is this Crawford fight because I think Earl Spence is about to fight Danny Garcia, and I don't know what the fuck Manny Pacquiao about to do. But with all that being said, Thurman should just, you know what I'm saying, once – the fight start getting announced and shit, man. Um, that's crazy because that leaves Sean Porter out in the cold. If, if, let's say this. If Earl Spence fight Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman fight Crawford. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, shit. But, yeah, if, like I said, my bad. Fix this damn phone. But, anyway, man, if, um... Like I said, man, if um Earl Spence fight motherfucking my bad, y'all trying to do two things at once, but it's Earl Spence fight Danny Garcia and and Terrence Crawford fight Keith Thurman, who the hell is um who the hell is motherfucking Sean Porter gonna fight? That's why Sean Porter should just go ahead and Keith Thurman, man. Get I mean go ahead and Terrence Crawford first. It's like a race, like they should treat this like a race. You should go ahead and try to go to Terrence Crawford first because whoever fights Terrence Crawford next, the other person that out in the cold. If y'all know what I'm trying to say, like, Sean Porter has nobody to fight. Or if Sean Porter fights Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman has nobody to fight. You see what I'm saying? So one of these niggas need to make a move or somebody going to be left in the, co in the cold once the big fight start getting announced and ain't nobody going to give a fuck about you. But... It is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. I'm out, man.